pissed off since the lockdown battle, man. Yeah, yeah, what it do? What's going down? It's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, aka Cleave the Villain, man. Coming out that Houston, Texas, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Arsenal, I got you. Boys wanna hit on Cassidy. Boys wanna hit on the real BRC slash the real BRC Texas, man. Boys wanna hit on Jay. Hey, this that warning shot. Hey, I got you. One pounder. Let's go. Watch what you say to me. You know I got my Glock and you stay with me. We pass it to the top to be afraid of me. We take it off the battle rap. It's the real BRC Texas. You better watch what you say to me. You know I got my Glock and you stay with me. We pass it to the top to be afraid of me. We take it off the battle rap. It's the real BRC Texas. You better watch what you say to me. You know I got my Glock and you stay with me. We pass it to the top to be afraid of me. We take it off the battle rap. It's the real BRC Texas. You better watch what you say to me. You know I got my I'm blocking the same with me. She's about to take the top to be afraid of me. We're shaking over battle rap. It's the real BRC Texas. It's in the box, what you say to me? You know I got my block in the same with me. She's about to take the top to be afraid of me. We're taking over battle rap. It's the real BRC Texas. It's in the box, what you say to me? You know I got my block in the same with me. She's about to take the top to be afraid of me. We're taking over battle rap. It's the real BRC Texas. Okay, let me introduce myself. It's Cleve the villain, ill flow, spitter, so shoot yourself. Cast like Earl Spence, you can't move his belt. Cast better be wear like your shoes and belts. Stupid, man, I stack cast the ball like Steve Nash. I'll go broke, I show up at your dough in a scream mask. No Jason, folk, he's just a ski mask. Plus, you can get this smoke like my weed man. That nigga Arsenal, he's softer than a bee bag. He could have got his face punched like a speed bag. But bro was smoking, touching cast. Your second and third. Round was fucking trash. Shotgun shook, keep ball fucking jack. That's fucking sad. Get hit with a pump and mag. Ars don't know how to fucking act, so the pump go back and make him put his hands in the air like jumping jacks. Yeah, watch what you say to me. You know I got my block and it stay with me. We rise to the top to be afraid of me. We take it over battle rap. This the real BRC Texas. You better watch what you say to me. You know I got my block and it stay with me. We rise to the top, should be afraid of me. We take it over, battle rap is the real BRC Texas. Yeah, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, aka Cleve the Villain. Coming out that H Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. Stay closet TV while I'm bringing the news for the closet. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me get straight to this thing, man. Okay, so I've been hearing some things, man. You know what I'm talking about? I've been seeing Matt Fafa doing his thing. My, uh, what is it? My expert opinion. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool show, and it's growing pretty fast too. If I might add, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's growing pretty fast. So, you know, when I see good things happening with our brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? And people, period. The real BRC slash the real BRC Texas is definitely gonna show they love. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't about slander. We not about hate. And it's bars over everything at all times pertaining to battle rap. You know what I'm talking about? Bars over everything. You feel me? But um, I want to talk about certain people who I feel like, you know, because, you know, when somebody's doing good, it's always going to be somebody that don't like what you're doing. And when you're doing bad, it's always going to be somebody that loves to see you doing bad. You know? Um, I heard, you know, your cat, you know, battle truth. You know what I'm saying? Saying some stuff about Math Hoffa and saying a few things about Misfit. Now, some of the things that he said, I disagree. And a sprinkle of what he said, I, I, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 he said that he didn't like Matt Fafa's interview. I watched the interview that he did on Fox. It was all right. It was pretty cool. I was happy for him on a major platform. Looks like he's, he's climbing to the top of a mountain. You know what I'm saying? Climbing to the top of the mountain, man. I like that. You know, um... I don't know, man. I, I I just don't like the way Battle Truth was talking about Mav Hoffa. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, he's not happy for Mav like that. He would say it. He would congratulate him. But at the same time, it's like, are you mad because these guys is passing you up or or because their platforms is growing faster? I don't know. I'm just asking. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Texas nigga, so, you know, we peep through the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my language, man. Yeah, we, we, we peep through the BS. But he was talking about Misfit. And things that Misfit was saying, you know, pertaining to, you know, the gay community or whatever. You know, how it's okay and, you know, gay people we hear and all this other stuff. 
You know, I can agree. I can, I can agree. You know that it's not cool. You know what I'm saying for people to be promoting it and get, and and trying to get people used to it. You know what I don't understand about certain individuals is like, you know, you have to die, whether you believe in the hereafter or not. <clears throat> You're still going to die. It don't matter if you don't believe that the creator don't exist. We, we, we got people that don't believe in God. We got people that don't believe that the, the devil don't exist. We got people that believe that, uh, we got people that don't believe that hell or heaven exists at all. We got people that don't believe in the hereafter. We got people that believe that we came from monkeys and all kind of stuff. But the fact of the matter is that there is a hell, there is a heaven, and there is a God. One, There's only one God. Straight up. And even though I'm Muslim, the Christians are our brothers and sisters. The Jews, you know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, 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 we got the Catholics, you know what I'm saying? All that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, man, it's crazy, though, you know, how people be using their platform. You know, if people be using their platforms for the wrong reasons, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I say, man, misfit, I, I, you know, on the, you know, you got to be, you, you, you have to understand that you, you are going to die. And you gonna stand before the creator, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like the stuff that you're doing, you're gonna be held accountable for it on the day of judgment. Real talk. Butt naked. You ain't gonna have no that scully on. You ain't gonna have no hoodie on. You ain't gonna have none of this stuff on. You ain't gonna have no Air Jordans on. I know misfit like to wear Jordans. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't gonna have none of that stuff on on the day of judgment. You're gonna be butt naked. And all of your good deeds and your bad deeds will be exposed to mankind on that day. Whether you believe it or not, you don't got to believe it. We know you don't believe it. I know. I know. You got cats like Brother Polite and Sinetta that don't believe in God at all. They're going to believe it the day they die. Because it is said in the Quran that the day that you die, when you die, when you see, when you die, you automatically know that, the, that Allah is God. And as for the Christians, they believe in the heaven and the hell too. So yeah, they, they, the Christians are our brothers and sisters. Yes. So, you know, I just feel like cats be contradicting themselves sometimes, you know what I'm talking about? You know, like Metal Truth sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll say some stuff that's enlightening, and at the same time, he'll slander folks, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it just be catching my attention sometimes, and, you know, I get to the blogging about it here and there, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I feel like, man, my expert opinion, it's a cool show, but Matt Hopper, you do got to, like, kind of stand for some, sh you know, you, you, Matt Hopper did say, though, that, you know, uh, uh, nobody should care or who cares anymore and things of that nature, you know, about, you know, gay people. And I, I, I'm not, I'm not a gay basher at all. But what I'm saying is, this is a, this is a, this is a major sin. And it, it's definitely, definitely going to lead you to the hellfire when you die. And you ain't got, you don't got to believe it. The people that find out about the, the punishments, they find out in the form of a punishment. So that it, 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 you don't got to believe it at all. That's your own business, straight up. <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie to you. This this stuff is real. This real. It ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I feel like you know, and then like, I feel like man, you know, these major platforms they do need to start opening up their minds. You know what I'm saying? I heard this boy, battle, this cat, Battle Truth, talking about 15 minutes of fame and hip hop is real and you know, Piper Boy and all these different you know major platforms. You know what I'm saying? Jay Black or whatever. You know what I'm saying? How they're not using their platforms to enlighten folks. Now, I will say this. <clears throat> I do agree with that a little bit, but that's not why they got into the industry, bro. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. These people got into the industry. These major bloggers got into it to make their money and for the passion of battle rap, too. I will say that. They did it for the passion of battle rap, but they did it to make money and living off of it. So they're not going to compromise what they came in it for to sit up there and be enlightening folks. And then next, you know, these Jews and these, you know, these, you know, uh, the, the people that run the world, you know what I'm saying? It's just different factions of them all the way down to, to, to the lowest level. You know what I'm saying? And they're not willing to trade that to enlighten people who are not going to stand up for them. People, enlightening people who don't give a damn about their own self. They're not even going to fight for you. They're not going to fight with you even though you're fighting for them. Niggas. It's showing sure up right, man. It is a difference between niggas and black people. I love black people. I hate niggas. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I don't give a damn if you don't like it. Shit, <laughs> pull up. Shit, I'm a Texas nigga, and I'm a I'm one of them Texas bloggers. I, I listen, fam. I just started blogging. I'm tell you something, bro. I'm not the nigga that you want to play with, fam. You, I, I'm, I'm one of the coolest niggas on planet Earth. 
know what I'm talking about? But I'm not the I'm not one of those cats that you can just play with, you feel me? Straight up. I ain't trying to claim no tough guy, but you know what I'm saying? Show me my respect, fam, and I'm, I'm definitely going to give you yours, but you're going to give me mine. Square business. But yeah, though, man, you know what I'm saying? Misfit, I hope you you, you check this blog out, man. I challenge Misfit to, to turn back into a regular female and, and dress like a female, damn it. I challenge it. I want to see how long it's going to take. It's 2020. Put on a dress. Damn it. And I ain't saying it to be funny either. No, I'm not smiling. I'm not smiling. This shit ain't no damn joke. We got little kids watching. And then you got kids thinking that it's okay to, to a, a boy that has sex with a boy. A, a man that has sex with a man. A female that has sex with a female. Nah. That's Babylonish. Straight up. And the United States is the, is, is the new Babylon. It's been the new Babylon. It's been Babylon. You feel me? What happened to Babylon? The creator destroyed it. You got you got you got people over here doing all this stuff, just doing anything. And then you got a real cat like Mav Hoffa who we love and embrace and look up to that's agreeing with it? Come on, man. So you know, Mr. Battle Truth, man, you need to stop contradicting yourself, man. You be saying real shit sometimes, you know, excuse my language, you know what I'm saying? You be saying real stuff sometimes, but at the same time, you sit up there be slandering folks. I don't like that though. And Texas don't like it. But it is what it is, though. You know what I'm talking about? Misfit? Misfit. The day of judgment is coming. Every breath that you take, you getting closer and closer and closer to your grave. Every breath that you take and every day you live, you getting closer and closer and closer to the day of judgment where you are going to be standing butt naked in front of mankind and in front of the creator with all of your good and bad deeds. Straight up. <laughs> And there ain't no interviews with Joe Button with Louis Vuitton shoes in the that, that, that ain't gonna help you on that day. It ain't. I'm gone. Shout out to the real DRC. Real DRC Texas. Shout out to everybody in the real BRC, man. I'm gone. One.